For us with anxiety, it's easy to get caught up in our minds and worry ourselves into a panic attack. So it is only natural that we do our best to distract ourselves and try to keep these worries out of our minds for good. But guess what? This approach simply doesn't work. In this video, I'll tell you why and show you how you should react when catching yourself freaking out about symptoms and in return, stop your anxiety from spiraling out of control. But before I begin, I want you to close your eyes and imagine a little cute grey cat wearing a red bow tie. Do you see it? Yes? Perfect. And now for the next minute, think about anything else besides that grey cat wearing a red bow tie. Well okay, that wasn't a full minute, but I guess most if not all of you had a picture of a cat similar to this one in your mind, although you did your best not to think about it. The same exact principle goes for your anxiety. I know many of you struggle each and every day to suppress your worries and do everything in your power to not let those horrifying thoughts take over. But guess what? The harder you try to ignore those thoughts, the more they will eventually pop up in your mind. Let's take me as an example here. Back in my anxiety days, I would wake up and be determined not to let my worries get to me today. I tried to keep myself occupied and whenever I felt my anxiety creeping up, I would quickly turn around and hastily search for something to distract me from it. But guess what this kind of behavior does to you? It just keeps your worries alive and looming around in the back of your head. Trust me on one thing, you cannot ignore yourself into anxiety recovery. All this does is create more in the tension. Your brain is fighting to take control over something that hasn't been processed yet. Simply put, it's like trying to put out fire with gasoline. And the worst thing is that this fight just creates more stress, which makes it harder and harder to suppress until you eventually get knocked out and end up in a panic attack. So instead of ignoring the fear and the physical symptoms, you should take a mental step back and see your anxiety for what it actually is. It is a mental disorder. Everything you are feeling is the result of inner conflicts, tension and stress. Every single time you catch yourself trying to hide from the symptoms, stop it, take a step back and calmly tell yourself. This is another one of my attacks. I had plenty of them before and each and every one I've managed to get through. This is another opportunity for me to learn how my body and mind reacts and in return become even stronger and more capable to handle this more calmly in the future. I know that this is no easy task, but what has helped me tremendously was understanding that my extreme anxiety is something that I have created for myself and that it arises from within. I can't fight or run away from myself, but all I can do is just to accept that this is who I am at this moment. This acceptance by itself will take a lot of the edge off. Accepting that anxiety is now part of you lets you take a more analytical approach on it all. Focus on the symptoms, truly feel them, and feel how your brain reacts to these sensations. You should even take it so far and ask that anxiety should finally get it over with. Ask it to give you the heart attack you are always anticipating. Trust me, it never will. And there's one more thing that you should also be doing to feel more at ease and also to accept that this is the path you now have to go through. First of all, anxiety is of course a very serious issue and should be treated that way by you and the people around you. So tell your family, friends, colleagues and fellow pupils about what you are going through. Most of them will be very understanding and are willing to help. But the most important part of this is that you no longer need to be ashamed of yourself and your anxiety or panic attacks and no longer feel the urgent need to hide it. It is a part of you at this moment and everyone will understand that you will need time to process this. So guys, all I can say is that you have to accept that anxiety is now a part of you. And everything you've tried before obviously did not work or else you wouldn't be watching this video right now. Be content with your situation and take a proactive approach on improving your life and not wasting all of your valuable time and energy to suppress and hide who you are. Hope you've enjoyed the video and if you want to see more anxiety related content just like this one, consider subscribing. 